welcome back to Editing Tips. I have a Loopy Deck CT still on my desk. I've had it for three months and I nearly wanted to throw it away. But I'm going to tell you today why it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Today, let me explain how the Loopy Deck CT is a complement to your edit suite. I still use the Final Cut Pro keyboard. What else would I use? But then I remembered I'm a private pilot. Pilots fly the plane using the joystick and that's exactly the same as editors using the keyboard. But in an airplane there's dedicated buttons. Look at this overhead panel. What this panel does is assign single functions to single buttons. When you want to put the landing gear down, the big knob that says gear down, you pull. Ladies and gentlemen, it will shortly be landing at London. Can we ask you please to return to your seat now and securely fasten your seat? There's a hidden feature of Final Cut Pro that people call keyboard shortcuts, but they're not. They actually are extra features. Things like making a compound clip, separating the audio, quickly adding a space between tracks, the range tool, turning track snapping on or off. All these keyboard shortcuts, or as I call them, extra features are hidden behind multiple key presses. Shift, Control, Z, Option, G. And those are exactly the commands that a dedicated button would be brilliant to have. That, in my opinion, is the best use of the Lubidex CT. It eliminates Control Alt Delete Function F8. You can assign individual buttons to individual custom shortcuts. Fantastic! And it has something even better. It has rotary knobs. Now there's things that you do in an edit that turning a knob would be better than going up, 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 down, 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 down. Imagine, ooh, ooh, like audio levels. It's unbelievably useful for. You can highlight a track turn the big knob while playing the film and do a real-time live mix to balance, say, music and commentary. Invaluable. While color grading, the turn knob is much more intuitive than going up arrow, down arrow, or with your mouse. The knobs work brilliantly. So would I recommend a Loopy Deck CT for editing? No. But I would recommend it for the bigger post-production workflow because of its assignable buttons and its rotary knobs. Think of it like an aeroplane cockpit. Dedicated buttons to do a single function. It's quicker than Alt-Control-Delete. And that's why the Loopy Deck CT stays next to my keyboard. For the dedicated buttons assignable to shortcuts that you use all the time and anything that works better by turning a rotary knob, I highly recommend it.